<laughs> Sorry, I had a quick shower because I felt really gross. Is there something wrong with the camera? It seems a bit cloudy. Hi. That's no better. Hold on. Let me get a bit of fabric. Hold on. No different. But how are you? How is everyone today? Hi, Ashley. Hi, Pam. Hi, Amy. Hi, Rebecca. Hi, Diamond Paint and Diva on Wheels. Hi, Kaylee. Hi, Stephanie. Hi, Sharon. I love these emotes in the chat. They're so good. I love them. Love them, love them. Hi, McKib. Hi, Dee. How are you all? What did you all have for your tea? I had such a nice tea. In the cold at the moment, they've reduced the, um, uh, what are they called? Linda McCartney mozzarella burgers. They don't taste like mozzarella, but they taste like vegetarian burgers. They reduced two for two quid, which I think is pretty good. So uh, I had those, they were really good. Hi Isaac, you being a little monkey. Apparently you're still awake, Isaac, and we can't have that. You know it's bedtime. You've got to give mummy a break. Hi, Anonymous. Hi, Foxy. You haven't had your dinner yet? It's half past eight, babes. Hi, Glenda. Hi, Heather. I posted your parcel today. You like the t-shirt? It's my little pony. <laughs> How are you all? So today, not got really anything planned. I feel like I'm just going to have a bit of a chat with you. The back camera is gonna look loads better. Um, gonna have a bit of a chat with you, and I've got loads to guillotine. So I've got infinity challenges to catch up on. I've got wild card challenges to catch up. Hi, Jessica. And um, there's some tomorrow's order. So there's a lot of gu 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 guillotine. And so once we finish having our chat, um, I'll go ahead and start doing that. Um, what do I have information wise for you? Not much really, however, you know that March is uh, finally made alive. You know that March is now off the Etsy store. So now what we have are these uh, packs and they are the March designs. It doesn't give them justice on this camera, uh, but they're really, really bright. I've called them Rainbow Slush. So um, I've got A7s and A6s laminated and some. we're going to guillotine up some uh, inserts for A6 zippers tonight as well. Yeah, Jack and Potato Beans, classic, but we had Cajun Spice. Ooh, that is good. I like a bit of Cajun. New to my channel, watch your channel for about a week and I think you're great. Thanks so much. Lily, I think you're great as well. And you're on wheels too. Two people on wheels. I love it. I love it. I love everything about it. <laughs> I especially like that your wheels with a Z. That's brilliant. <laughs> I have to eat uh, with meds, so I've got to wait for a medication time. Oh, I see. But what are you going to have, Diamond Paint Diva on wheels? Have you been to the PO box? I sent Kyla something. Oh, uh, I, we went to the PO box uh, yesterday and there wasn't anything from you, Carpe, but I will check soon. Um, yeah, Rainbow Slush does sound like a drink. That's what I thought. I thought they looked like a slushy. Um, I got a really, really kind gift, which I would show you, but they're all eaten by now. So Sarah Huff, Huff H-O-U-G-H, you'll probably know her. She sent me some... Um, uh, popcorn. One was coated in mint chocolate, which I ate all of, and one was like a rainbow one. It had loads of different flavours, and Jake ate the fuck out of them. Uh, they were good. Tuna sarnies. <laughs> I'm not a fishy person, babes. When people look at me, they don't think fish. They think dog. <laughs> uh, I'm really good, Ashley. We're having fish and chips. Oh, what do you have with fish and chips? I love a pea fritter. Oh, a pea fritter is heavenly. Hi, Finn fam, how are you? You like tuna? I mean, I don't like any fish. And then I think the only fish I used to eat was tuna. And then I watched that um, Sea Spiracy on Netflix and mm -mm, not no fish at all. But I will have like Thai food that's got like fish oils, KFC. KFC's good. I like KFC. I had one last week. 
What is a pea fritter? Right. A pea fritter is like some whole peas, but mostly mushed up peas in a batter, like formed into sort of like a disc in a batter and then deep fried. Hi, Crazy Kitty, Kitty Crazy. Sea Spiracy was wild. Hi, Emma, how you doing? We got a spanner in the chat. Steak chips, onion rings and pepper sauce, nice. Oh, pepper sauce reminds me, have you tried the McDonald's? They got this new burger that's got pepper sauce in there, like black pepper sauce. It's really nice. Kyla was literally over the moon and then she basically shat herself because she <laughs> hadn't really thought about how she was going to package them, how she was going to send them. So we sent most of them and also she'd made some mistakes like for instance she didn't set an international price so she was selling something for like seven pounds. No, she was selling something for like five pounds and someone in Australia bought it and it would have cost her £4.20 to post it. So she wasn't really thinking about that stuff. But I went back into a shop, fixed it all for her. And the ones that she was going to lose money on, we shipped with the orders that I did that night. So, yeah, we were able to do that. And then we bought some... Oh, it's really, really cute how she's... Because, like, her shop's about upcycled denim. She's actually restocked a load of her stuff. So if you want another link, I can send you another link. But she's got, like, some... Really 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 nice stuff and she's put a new product on there as well but her stuff is about recycled denim so she gets denim from charity shops uh people give it to her and then she also gets it from like car boot sales and stuff and then she makes them into beautiful things so her whole thing is about recycling but it's really about the denim because she loves working with that and um yeah we bought navy blue tissue paper gold sharpies, some thank you cards, some envelopes. So it's all brown and gold and navy blue. It's really, really good. Really good. Hi, Kat. Thank you for having me yesterday. It's a surprise gift. Oh, good. My friend got one the other day and said it was delish. Pea fritters are incredible. Oh, no, the um, McDonald's thing. Um, Orange Tango is my fave. Mind you, haven't had an ages. Might have to go br do a British good store. Orange Tango is okay. Uh, we got it free with... Jake's KFC last week, so I'm just having it now. He said he'd save it for later, but I'm having it. Sarah Urban, hello from North Carolina. Hi. I just found you and I'm binging your entire playlist. Currently on July 2022. Wow. Just put in for your new place. Oh, I did get it. Spoiler alert. Chicken super noodles and sausages with red sauce for my tea earlier. Amy, are you okay? You all right? <laughs> Send us the link. Yeah, I'll go get it for you. Denim uh, uh, by Kyla, GB. Yeah, so if you look at the link, she's still got her bags, but she's... Could she made a bit of a mistake. So she's got these like bags that are made out of like recycled like cotton and stuff. Um, and um, she only listed one where she had like, she just made a couple of mistakes. And then she's got these triangular little coin purses and um, you can choose your zip color now. And then she's also got like square card purses as well. So they're like super, super, super cute. So if you're like into that sort of stuff, definitely. And she's priced them, like, get them while they're... Oh, yeah, it was the cotton bag she sent to America, uh, to Australia. It was £3.50 and it was going to cost her £4.20 to send it. But we fixed that. Apple Tango, bestie. Apple Tango is the one. You are absolutely correct. <laughs> uh, love a peach tango uh, from Five Guys. Have you tried a peach Fanta? Incredible. I am, I love peach. Peach is my favourite flavour, but I couldn't eat a real peach. I don't like real peach. I like pretend peach. I also like pretend banana. Oh, I've got a flamingo pouch. Oh, did they come already? Jeez Louise. Did it come with mine or did she send it separately? Hi, besties. Hi, Shadow. It's been a while. How are you? 
I do love corn purses. They're so cute. Having the thing about Kyla's as well is she like puts little like um like D rings and things on them, so you can just hang them to stuff or just hang them from the zip inside your bag, so they don't get nicked as well. They're like really good, unless someone steals the whole bag. But it's good. Working and watching, living the dream. Oh God, it's Kyla Arg. I've been calling her Kyra. <laughs> it is Kyla. It's Mikayla. I love Pretend Peach. And my favourite, oh, right. In the UK, about, it's going to age me, probably about 10 years ago, uh, I think it was Dolce Gabbana released these five smells like perfumes was it Dolce I think it was Dolce Gabbana there was there were five it was it was probably more it was when I was at uni so okay it was probably 20 years ago so it was five perfumes and they were supposed to all five of them be unisex like one was blue one was peach colored one was pink green and I think yellow the peach one bestie I fucked with that one that was so good and I wore it for so long and then about a year later they went oh actually this peach one is actually a bit feminine where we're just going to call this a, a female one and I was like I don't give a shit and I wore it for so long and they stopped making it but that's not what I smell like now I smell like Dior Homme because that's got a bit of lavender in it it's quite nice pretend peach talking to peach anyone seen the lush X Super Mario collection. Lush gives me a headache. I've never bought anything from Lush that I've not, I've never bought anything from Lush that I've enjoyed. Like I, I really had this thing about trying to get like shampoo and conditioner from a bar so that I would like, didn't like use up loads of plastic and stuff. And Lush's conditioners in a bar are shit, mate. Shit. <laughs> but no, I haven't seen it, but I'd like to see that. Separately, they came the same day. I'd probably post them on the same day. Apple Tango is really good. Mind you, we can't get that in New Zealand, so always out of luck when we find it. Um, Apple Tango, basically, just get lemonade and some concentrated apple juice. That, that's literally it. Oh, no, Shadow. I hope you're feeling better. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. You're right, Sheila. That's what I heard. Can anyone help me with this puzzle? It's a killer. Take it a bake from a diamond painting. Go, 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 go. Terry Mugler Alien is my favourite perfume. You like that one? I love a bit of men's perfume. Not going to lie, especially fuckboy scent of one million. The one that always gets me is um, Invictus. That is fuckboy. It does sum it to me, besties. Normally don't go lush, but with Mario Lange, I just had to. Have you seen... Um, Mario are everywhere at the moment, but um, there's a new um, collection um, of Mario and Power Rangers at Udi. If I could afford 70 quid for an Udi, I'd be all over that. Uh, my eldest bloody loves Mario, so I've got in the Mario and Luigi shower gels. They smell like actual apple and cheap cola. Oh, nice. I swear Paris on perfume was 15 and I'm 32 in September. Really? Some people I know still wear Britney Spears. And it doesn't smell like cheap on them. Udi is incredible. I love sausage sauvage. <laughs> I didn't read that properly. <laughs> I thought you were trying to tell me something else. I'm like, maybe not the chat room for that, but all right. Oh, it's a car fragrance. Ooh. I like anything that is masculine with like cedar in it and then something floral behind it. So Dior Homme is my favourite because it's got like lavender in it, but it's mostly woody. I like that. <laughs> Have you seen the promo for the Netflix Power Ranger movie? I'm super excited. No. Hold on. Netflix. Netflix. Power Ranger. My Wolf of Power is once and always. Sorry, this is one minute 40. I am going to have to watch it. I'm so sorry. My Wolf of Power is once and always. After all these years, sorry, I this is one minute 40. Body. I am going to have to watch it. I'm so sorry. After all these years, I've made a feedback loop. I've made a feedback loop. How 
do I turn the music off? Right, got it. Right, let me start again. After all these years, I found a new body. Oh god, he's had surgery. Oh, because Trini died. Genuinely speechless. I'm so excited. That gave me goosebumps. That's... <laughs> what a nerd. What have you all been saying about me? Uh, that was a bad feedback loop, wasn't it? Oh. The Power Ranger. Oh, these are back here. It's all of them. But obviously there's no Yellow Ranger. I saw my Kimberly. I saw her. <laughs> White Ranger died in real life. Oh dear. Sorry, Pam. I can remember being in the 90s dressed as pink Power Rangers. I'll have to see if I can dig out the photo. Oh, that'd be good. Right, I need to do some work, Bessie. I'm going to move you up a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. Uh, 19th of April, it said. So I will be watching that. Do not fret. Don't you fret, Bestie. Okay. Right, so uh, I'm guillotining today. This is McPlant. So let's go christen him. Yeah, April 19th. So really soon. Really, really soon. <laughs> well, at least you're honest, Pam. At least you're honest. Okay. Keith is good. He misses you. He loves you. He says only kind things about you. <laughs> I might cancel the Thursday live. <laughs> Right, so all I'm doing is I'm literally cutting out these. So I'll have a chat with while I'm doing that. It's not going to be massively amazing to watch, but um, I need to get through it. So <laughs> I need to uh, go back to my job. Fingers crossed you get the house. Yeah, me too. Thanks. <laughs> You're going to have to see my head loads. I'm sorry. Oh yeah, it'd be lovely if you liked the video, besties. Wonder how Paula is. She'll probably be on later. I can't believe that about Power Rangers. <gasps> I'm so, that literally gave me goosebumps. Because I'm just like, I try to watch like others. There's like millions of seasons of Power Rangers. And my niece, really got into Power Rangers, but she was watching SPD and I'm like, this is shit. Like, nothing's as good as Mighty Morphin. No, I'm not moving, can't I? Someone um, has just found me and they're not really up to date on my videos. So they were watching one from like over a year ago where I was trying to get this place. So I didn't want them to get the spoiler. Hi, Bees Hive. 
How is May set? May's selling really well, especially the cash envelopes. Budget booklets, not as much. So every single month I'm decreasing the amount of budget booklets um, and increasing the sticker packs um, because that just seems to be what's happening. Cause I just don't want to be left over with a load of stuff. But yeah, it's selling really well. Thank you for asking. My Morphin and Wild Force, my favourites. I'm literally my Morphin only. That's all I'm interested in. <laughs> but I'll collect a pink Power Ranger from any of them. I'm trying to give up some of got my vape. I'm failing measure. Bestie. What flavours do you like? Let me just recommend this. This is Bluey's Extra Cool and it tastes like those... Um, Spearmint sweets, you know, the ones that are sugar free, and if you eat more than four, you'll get diarrhea. Yeah, it's those, and that's my favorite flavor in the world. But yeah, a vape is way better than a cigarette. Cigarettes are absolutely disgusting, absolutely revolting. Thought you were holding back. What do you mean, holding back? I'm trying to give up smoking. That movie is, is not to be beat. The original one, still a gem. Same with Spice World, fight me. I will never fight you on Spice World. Do not you crack. I need a sugar fix. What candies is Jess in a pick right now? Um, well, if you're candies, you are in America. <clears throat> so what are my favorite American candies? Um, the Chewy Jolly Ranchers. Uh, in particular, blue flavor one. Um, what else do I like? I like 100 grand bars and I like uh, Reese's Pieces. And that's the only Reese's I do like actually, is the Reese's Pieces. And also, I don't know if you still have them, but in America, you get uh, those M&Ms, but they've, they've just got caramel inside, like Rolo caramel. Good. Captain Levi and <laughs> I only vape tobacco flavour. That's probably what you are messing up on. Because that tobacco flavour is a poor substitute. And once you realise that you can get satisfaction out of blueberry, mate, it'll change your life. Just um, don't get the cheap shut. Get the good stuff. I recommend a website called Mix Juice to get started. So they sell bottles that big, and then you put the nicotine in, and you can get all sorts of flavors. Um, I would recommend uh, Sensational Menthol, Red A, uh, Vimto, anything like that is like what I sort of like. Jake really likes the donut-y flavors. That's probably why it's so hard, because the tobacco flavor will never taste like a cigarette. Uh, and once you have been on like fruity flavors for a while, you'll realize that it's actually delicious. I've ordered the sticker pack, also some insets from my S7 zippers. Nice! I ordered an A7 binder and zippers from another store and they literally days later, you'll start selling A7 binders. Oh, never mind, bestie. How much was their binder? I think I like Wild Force because the animal is not going to lie. I mean, you can't go wrong. Hey, there's another Eevee in the chat. Ah, oh, twinsies. I can't see the, what I'm showing. Cool, I can see it now. Emotion. Ah, uh, mate, I'll just pick the A7 inserts. They were really excited to get in. Oh, cute. Salted caramel M&M's are elite. They are okay, but wait until you have the American caramel M&M's because it's literally Rolo inside them. It's like a hard shell Rolo, like really good. Oh, also what I like in America, I know you can get them here, but Reason, like the dark chocolate fudge, really good. Have you tried flavors? Um, it might be the, it might be the, um, amount of nicotine that you're putting in them. But are you putting in nicotine as well? Don't get those little janky, like, tiny ones. 
but that that might be what it is. I think you just need to find a flavour that you fuck with, like one that you really like. Like for me, it's like a sugary mint. So anything, like I will, like, like I like flavours. Like I like have like pineapple and stuff like that. But like every now and then, I'll buy a. Um, disposable vape and they're like six quid they're just not worth the money they only last the day and it's just as bad smoking i feel like in terms of money um so i stick with the flavors i know i really like so i like candy cane spearmint chew menthol stuff like that I have been, uh, I have the channel books in my basket on Etsy, volume one and two, and I'm probably being a bit daft. Is there, I'm assuming volume one is the pink little book of challenges. Yeah. So this is volume one with all of the little challenges in. I know what I'm doing for volume three as well. That'll be July besties. That'll be coming out. I got so much coming out in July. It's so expensive right now. So in July, we'll have coming out Saving Challenges Volume 3, an A4, and an A5, no sticker budget planner, an A5 sticker budget planner, which essentially will be the same as what we got. And then my website will be live in July for my birthday. That's what I'm aiming for at least. And then also Saving Challenge Volume 3, and the July and August, sorry that you can see the top of my head, the giant July and August collections. Oh, you get UK and USA candies. Oh, that's so good. Uh, do you get cream eggs? No, do you get Kinder eggs? Anyone spot, spotted the Swiss that was Lindell's red small egg, the bottom half, is it? Chocolate covered pretzel too. There's something about sweet and salt. Yeah, you're right. That's how my battery keeps dying on me. Oh no. You need to get a better vapor. This one's mine. I have the Vupu Genie. It's all right. Did I cut that? I think I did. Yeah, there's going to be a no sticker planner and a sticker planner. Okay, 16 milligrams of nicotine is a lot bestie. <laughs> My husband smokes mango on the one he gets mixed at the shop because they custom mix based on nicotine shop. Oh, that's good. Are they? I saw there's a spearmint millions. I did want to have a look at that. Hi, Leslie. So excited for the A4. Yeah, so it's gonna be an A4, no sticker planner. But obviously, you can get stickers with it too, but it works fine without stickers. And then there would be the same, but in A5, because like, yeah. And then there'll be, it'll literally be the same planner, um, but it will have a different cover on it. Just something that's a bit more robust. Oh, and uh, rulers. We've got to do rulers for July, haven't we? Your birthday, July 2. Stephanie, what's the date? Yes, I did say a no sticker planner, but that's only for people who want a no sticker planner. You can still get the sticker planner. But he used to be a pack a day smoker with real cigs. He loves loves the e-cigs. Oh, good, good, good. I was a heavy smoker, uh, but we will get that, absolutely. To get myself off the bus. Oh, oh, I'm glad you like the Infinity Challenge. When well, new planners will be for July, so they'll probably be June. They'll be coming out likely. Um, they just cost a lot to get printed. Like we're talking like a lot. July 25th. My birthday is July the 8th. So that's hopefully the release of the website. Jealous of summer babies. Mine's next Friday. Let's hope it's good weather. Ch today's weather was so nice, wasn't it? So nice today's weather. I actually went outside for, oh, I've got to think of a reason to go outside. So I went just to drive down to the petrol station to fill up my car and get myself a Red Bull.
Uh, the time for me is three minutes past nine, bestie. Uh, just remember the wildcard game arrived this morning. Oh, yes. Oh, besties, by the way, I have run out of stickers. So all of the orders that went out today and all of them until I get the new stickers, they won't have stickers in them. I know that's gonna upset people, I'm really sorry, uh, but they ran out way sooner than I expected, like way sooner. So I've ordered a thousand, which is what I ordered last time, and I'm gonna put 500 away, or half of them roughly away. And when I open that second half, I'm gonna design an, all the new ones. So I hope you like the new stickers. Also, I haven't really thought about what we'll do on Friday's video. Has anybody got any requests? The 12th. Uh, my husband's birthday is Monday and our wedding anniversary is next Friday. Oh, that's so nice. Well, you can't have a plan a sneak peek because um, it's like 10% designed. At least people... All the best people born in July. I mean, I wouldn't say that. Jake's July 28th, so we've got some tape in there. In Australia, the politicians are debating putting the same restrictions packaging directors on taxes on vape as they consider. It's a huge problem with young... Yeah, that's the thing. That That is the thing. And you know what? My friend, her daughter's school, someone, uh, a student got um, caught vaping in the toilets and that student was 10 years old. Like that's the issue with them being really nice flavors. It's terrifying. Cause like we could have a generation of kids that are addicted on stronger nicotine than we ever were. And the, the worrying thing is we don't quite know how dangerous it is. Like the government, the NHS in the UK says so even though we don't know how dangerous it is, we know it's less dangerous than cigarettes. So they'll encourage people to vape, but that is terrifying. You ran out of stickers because uh, some of us have about 10. Yeah, I know, that is true. If anybody ever says, oh, I never got a sticker or anything, I'm gonna point them your way, Emma. And if they want one, they can post you an envelope. No stickers, we're gonna riot. Yeah, absolutely. But you will like this next sticker. Oh, and also, <laughs> okay, let me list you the things that I'm running out of. Envelopes, had to order them. And I had to order hundreds. Uh, uh, running out of Happy Mail stickers as well. So soon we might not have Happy Mail if they don't come in on time. Uh, run out of um, like labels for my Dymo printer. Also run out of um, cello bags. Um, loads of the colors of the, just so much running out of at the moment. It's really hard. I need a PA, besties. Uh, I've got four or five at this point. So November is the best month. You like November. I really like what I've got planned for next month. So all of that is designed now. So that's all bought and paid for. I'm waiting for all the stickers and the budget booklets to come um, for that. Um, and I really like the cash envelope designs. So as soon as they arrive, I'll be probably sharing that with patrons really early because I'm trying to get really far ahead of it now because I know that July is going to be quite a full on month for me. TBH. I've seen a kid my son's age walk out of his school and immediately vape. Oh my goodness. October's the best one. You vet, I love October. Luckily, because I was picking up, I went straight into the school office to make them aware the kids were vaping and school. Oh, blimey. Here in New Zealand, a flight attendant got caught vaping while working in a flight. Is that bad? I don't know if that's bad, is it? I'm much more relaxed around vaping. I am. But I'd be shocked if I saw one smoking a cigarette. 
Oh, have you got six? In Do you know what? I've only got one inhaler, lady. <laughs> you keep all of them. Like, you'll be able to sell them one day. Inventory manager. The problem is, right, so, like, because I, like, reinvest into my business, like, I'm always, at the moment, I'm not in a place where I'm like, oh, I can just keep on top of stuff, just because I'm still in, like, a, that period of, like, initial growth in terms of my store. So I've always got something new coming out, so I'm always investing in the next thing constantly. So it's not like I'm just upkeeping, do you know what I mean? So it's um, it's difficult to split the business's money in between new stuff and maintenance. And I will have to fire myself. Someone will have to come and guillotine these at 10 o'clock at night. My friend is October 30th and she hates it. She wants to switch with me then. <laughs> Hi Kirsten, how's it going? I love October. Yeah, Kaya is now named McPlant. We had a, a poll a long time ago. I don't know if you were with me then, but um, we had a poll a long time ago about the fourth printer, whether it should be called Ray or McPlant, and Ray won, and then never <laughs> stepped foot in the, <laughs> the lives again. But we still love her. Um, so McPlant lost, so I've called the guillotine McPlant. So why not? Anyone use a file effect Safi on a wallet? Pros and cons, please. Need something different when it comes to a wallet. Hold on, bestie. Your favourite budgeting shop may start selling really nice Safiano dupes at a fraction of the cost with stunning envelopes inside. You never know. I think the inhaler lady knows she's popular. It's a really quite big meme. I have a husband have our wedding in October uh, so we could have a Halloween wedding. Cake was a nightmare for Christmas. Oh, that's so cute. October 13th. That's more than my brother's is October 13th. Don't recommend the Sephiroth. It's so bulky and the zippers are too big in them. I prefer A7. I like A7. He bought people who would find it dumb, but everyone liked it. Ah, oh, so good. Bonds Moms. I use one. My birthday is 19th October. Did Keith win? Keith, what, Keith didn't win anything, but we named the... Um, I was harassed until we named the, the hole punch Keith. <laughs> A poll is how Keith with his name. Yeah, Keith didn't win shit, Anonymous. I was harassed and you know it. Safiano dupe! <laughs> I have that wallet, it's good, but quite big for everyday use for me. So I've ordered Iris Day 7 binder and Sonia Mills. Cute! And there will be more colours available soon of all my binders. You just need to wait one or two months because they're swimming in the middle of an ocean at the moment. It's going against the safety procedures on planes by smoking on them. Yeah, I know, but is vaping smoking? I haven't taken my kids' wallets out of the Safi only because it's too bulky. They're now in their own A7 binder. Oh, that's so good. Can't wait for 2024, Year of the Dragon. Yes. I'm thinking of a dragon collection for January. I think that'd be nice, wouldn't it? I think it was the same poll, Anonymous, but plant was my suggestion. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Has the real rage disappeared? Um, yeah, I haven't seen them for a while, but, and I miss them. But, um, they're not really active on their own YouTube channel either. So I guess they're sort of like taking a break or going through something and they'll be back when they're ready, I guess. Hi Carmel, how you doing? Uh, I don't use zipper wallets, uh, so that wouldn't be an issue. I don't like my bills folder. 
don't like my bills folder so an a7 is a no-go just personal preference yeah um i like my a7 for my daily stuff but i, I think i couldn't cope with an a7 for like normal stuff because um folding the notes over a long period of time would do my head in a shadow archive uh, 10k sales like a week and a half ago not to brag I think it's nicotine, which is the issue. I know several people who are allergic to it. Really? Probably everybody is to an extent. I, I'm sure I um, was watching a Vox video once that like everybody in the world is allergic to alcohol and the allergic reaction we're having is us being drunk and like it makes us feel good, but that's why we feel so shitty to the day after. It's just the the part of the reaction to it. Managed to get my pay change at work. Oh, good. From fortnightly to monthly. Finally, finally able to budget now. Work out a plan. That's good. If it makes sense to you in your head now, that's brilliant. Uh, I managed to get my... Uh, that should be fine for them because you can just take the standard cash envelopes to keep your coins in purse section. I think Emily's budget uses a Safiano like that. I've been MAI from lives. I haven't had time to catch up. Just like to watch lives when I'm there, not yeah. Um, so I I don't know if I am gonna do anything for 10K. And it's not because I'm ungrateful. It's because I feel like it should be really, really celebrated. And I just don't have the money to do what I wanna do. So it might have to be like a 15K celebration or something like that. So I don't even want to give away what I want to do. I just don't, I just don't have the, the money to do what I want. I like, I want to do something big for it. And I don't know, like it makes me feel really bad that I'm not doing anything for it because I want to celebrate you. But at the same time, I just don't have it. Do you know what I mean? So I, I'm not going to sort of stretch myself and I also don't want it to look like a flex do you know what I mean uh I'm a rat thing I think I'm an ox I'm a snag I get highs when drinking I still drink that I mean bestie same Isaac is asleep I'm so gonna I'm gonna dip so I can have an hour to myself oh good enjoy Oh, we've been gold, got married. Oh, enjoy. <laughs> uh, that's so cute. You've got to take your time when you got it. You need a budget envelope for milestone celebration. Yeah, it, it's not like... This is the thing. So I think I'm really, really reasonable and responsible with my business money. But I think I spend it on the right stuff. And right now, while my business is in the growth phase that it is, I, I, I just, I don't want to spend the money on something that's not going to give me the return. Does that make sense? Like, I, I don't want to come off ungrateful for 10k because bestie like i am over the moon grateful but if i'm gonna do something i'm gonna do it and if i can't do it if i can't execute it to um a level that i believe is satisfactory i'm just not gonna do it and i'm just gonna save that idea for when an, the next one comes along because i do believe in 5,000 more sales i'm gonna be in a much more stable place I think I'll have a full catalogue of things in my website and Etsy store that will make sense. I'm just, I just, it's just now's not right the time to do stuff like that. Uh, I think you ought to have a weekend away celebrating the 10k or a day off or a meal out that's filmed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe. Finally caught alive. Oh, hi Gemma. Does anyone else have a dish of ads where you put in an order and they cancel because they've lost the box? What do you mean lost the box? 
That's really weird. I've never done anything like that. Why would you? Oh, that's so bizarre. What a thing to do. What a thing to do. They've lost the box. Oh, we need to start charging postage or a minimum order to a large postage change area. I mean, the post in the UK has just gone up as well. Um, I will start charging postage. Like, let's, let's be, like, frank. I am making money. I am doing okay. Um, but uh, margins are getting pinched by postage. I don't want to... I think some of the prices I have are pushing it as it is. I don't want to... Do you know what I mean? I don't want to take the piss... Uh, that would really hurt overseas, but absolutely, yeah. So, uh, I don't think it would really hurt overseas, but it's because basically, let's say for instance, I want to sell something for, let's say I want to sell something for six pounds, right? And it's a dice challenge, yeah? So it's going to cost me four pound 20 to get it to you, Pam. So, the price that you will see in Australian dollars will be uh, £10.20 already. So the, the, the postage is already included. So what I would potentially do is instead of making it £6, make it £7 for everybody, then UK people have to pay their £1.15 and Australian people have to pay their £4.20. So the only real difference that you will see is maybe a pound more, but that comes with everything anyway. Like everything rises in price all the time anyway. So I think maybe that structure should happen, but right now I'm not ready for it because I feel like... Yeah, everything just goes up. Do things just cost more? Like the materials, oh, bugger. The materials cost more and the postage costs more. And like with each, with each price hike, I try to take the hit on the price every single time. But this latest wave of postage, I, I, I can't maintain that for long. Like, so like um, the, so to the, the US, the, the rest of the world prices haven't done anything, but the internal post has. So to send you a normal letter. So like, let's say for instance, you bought a normal cash envelope. It, it used to cost me 68p. Um, now it costs 75. Like it's a big jump, especially when you multiply that over every order you've had that week. It's a lot. And Etsy takes a percentage of everything. They take a percentage of the sale fee, the listing fee, the relisting fee, the postage fee. They take a percentage off the, they just take like, it's death by a thousand cuts. They just take little bits all the time. So, you know, let's say for instance, I make, you know, 5,000 pounds from Etsy in a month. They will take at least a thousand. They take such a big percentage. That's why I'm really, really, trying to get my websites up and running. I really am. Because I just want to keep the price fair to you. My friend just set up an Etsy shop and so talented doing vinyl mugs. She's uh, making me some stickers and uploading them to Etsy. She had a hundred orders in her first week. That is incredible. A hundred orders is a lot. That's really, really good. Like, I don't have a hundred orders some weeks. Oh, you have Irish hands, but are so good. I say for crickets, I start you yeah, making stickers to for myself in love. That oh, good. Uh, people that I know that have crickets swear by them. Uh, 
Uh, I agree. Think postage charge is needed. You need to be uh, feeling the pinch with all these price increases. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing. I, I just don't want to turn buyers off, but I feel like the... I, d I don't want like international buyers to go, oh, look, that's really, really cheap. And then all of a sudden see how much I've been paying to ship stuff to them. Because like I went to buy, what was it? I went to buy nail varnish from Hol Holo Taco um, the other day. And they ship from the USA, but there, there are different rules of shipping nail polish anyway. Like it costs more to ship nail polish anyway. But I, the price is like, I don't know, like $14 for a bottle of nail polish. Like I, you know, I expect a certain level of quality. So I was like, yeah, okay, that seems reasonable. And then when I went to um, buy it, the postage, I got a, like a bulk order of like $30 worth of nail varnish. And the postage was $33. Like it was $3 more than the actual items I wanted to buy. And I was like, I, I can't do it. So I don't want to have a barrier to sale like that. However, like, I'm sure Holo Taco is the exact same way, but like I, I wouldn't charge a penny more than the shipping actually costs. It's just a really difficult thing to do. This is um, uh, the Infinity Challenge. So with this challenge, you get two dice, you get a plus and a minus, and a all the way up to six. And like you start somewhere and you roll it, and I got minus three, one, two, three, I save 60. But then you get three different um, inserts with it. So you can do small, medium, or large savings. And just building up the back stock. Oh, and I've got to the end of it. Oh, that's so good. Uh, I bought the 100 Envelope Challenge on Lyra last week and I'm starting to buy new windows. Oh, good! After I ordered it, I went back and ordered cash envelopes. Cute, cute, cute. Can't wait for your website. May need to buy shares in the way I've uh, been the last few weeks. Yeah, you probably do. Are you going to do uh, a flat charge for purchase no matter what people order? I don't know how that works. So if I order two things, we're paying purchase. So, I don't know how it works on Etsy, but basically on Etsy, it will... So let's say, for instance, you uh, have a lamp thing and a heavy thing. If you have them in your basket, it will only charge you postage for the heavy thing, to my knowledge. But on my website, uh, everything is weighed. So it knows exactly how much your parcel will weigh and how big it is. And it will calculate the correct size once. So you only pay shipping once. So you don't pay shipping on every single item. The trouble is it just costs a lot to get to Australia. And I don't want that to prohibit you besties. But at the same time, I want you to be paying the same price as UK people. Does that make sense? Like someone can get, like a UK person can get this challenge for um, eight quid i want you to pay eight quid and then your 420 do you know what i mean i don't want you to be priced out i love hello taco $33 is a lot, but it does cost significantly more to ship nail varnish just because of its like flammable properties and stuff like that. So you've got to be really careful. Yeah, as a Canadian, but the Canadian in Canada, they have it worse, like way worse. So they'll be told you have to come to the post office to pay this fee. They don't know if that fee is going to be like $10 or triple the price of the item. They have no idea. It's really weird in Canada. I just ordered all your dice challenges the other day and I was really happy to see free postage. So happy I can't wait to get my order. Cute, cute, cute. Postage fees are a barrier, but if you like the item enough, you can always make it work, Bessie. Yeah, I hope so. Your website one sounds more legit and best for you. I haven't bought anything from anyone overseas other than you because of how expensive postage. That's right. I went to buy... Okay, I bought something off Etsy the other day 
talk, two things we were talking about. I ordered orange balloons um, off an American seller. The balloons cost me £2.30. The shipping cost me $14. And then they messaged me today, say, oh, we're out of stock of orange. I'm like, why the fuck is it on your Etsy store then? Can I just have it cancelled and refunded, please? They're like, oh, we'll have to cancel it minus... But you have to pay for the shipping. I'm, like, I'm not having anything shipped, mate. You <laughs> better be sending it. <laughs> but they sorted it out for me. But yeah, it's really weird. Yeah, maybe I'll do that then. That's right. Because I know I can put a clause on my Etsy store that when you spend over a certain amount, you'll get free shipping. So I know I can do that. So maybe I will do that. Because it's probably better for you to pay shipping once and just get one big order, save up for it. That looks okay, doesn't it? Save up for it. And then you only have to do it once. Is that how you do it? I've seen, and um, what the fuck person, <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, $14. But no, like $14 is okay. I have paid like, if I want to buy something from like Life in Envelopes, it's like $22.50. $22.50 is a really common price to pay to for on Etsy for American stuff to the UK. It costs a lot more to send things from America to England than England to America. So when my brother sent me stuff, they've paid like $30, $40 to send me like a care package. Whereas I'll spend like 15 quid. Oh, these ones, these are the um, wildcard challenge. So with the wildcard challenge, you get this suit of cards. And um, yeah, you pick a card at random each week and whatever you pick, you save. So if you pick a nine, you save nine. It's one of the more popular ones. Just um, started to run out of them. I think I was down to two. So just wanted to make sure that they're ready to ship at a moment's notice. Yeah, from America says, I, I go do a big order to get that free shipping, but I don't don't buy it just to get the free shipping, but I wait until I have more, do one. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> oh, I hope he enjoys baseball. Baseball practice. Bye, Foxy. Oh, learning to quilt. Oh, that can be really, really rewarding. And really fun to do. I'm sorry that my head keeps popping in here, but I want to make sure the line's correct. I once bought a blanket from an American YouTuber when someone was born. It was 30 quid, no big deal. I came and I had to pay customs of 60 quid. Wow. But that's the thing, it's, it depends so it depends. So most of the time customs are paid for you ahead of time, but it depends what they mark on the, well, on, in, on, I don't know if it's the same the other way around, but it depends how you mark it on the CN22. So like, you'll notice that if I'm packing an American order, they've got a sticker on the back as well. And that it basically is the weight, what product code it is, uh, whether it's a gift or sale of goods or, or whatever it is, as long as you're putting it correct, most of it is paid for already. But yeah, customs can be an absolute bugger. I can't imagine you would need to pay like customs are supposed to be like, I don't know, 
it's hard. It's a hard thing to understand as well. Quilling is awesome, totally love it. Just don't have time or space, that's the thing. So um, Kyla, um, who we all know and love at this point, uh, she's made memory quilts for people. So she made one for a family friend um, who's um, like teenage daughter passed away. Um, I don't think she actually got quite a teenager, um, but yeah, she made a memory quilt like and put like her school uniform in it and her blanket she had when she came out of hospital when she was a baby and just like all sorts of fabrics. Um, she did that and that was lovely. How do you know where to cut? Oh, I've got, see these tiny little lines here? Um, that's how I know how to cut. <laughs> and I know the measurements off by heart as well. And you can kind of, I've felt so many of these cash envelopes that um, you kind of know if something's off. Uh, I keep seeing people mystery quilts that are in the US. I think the company is cotton cuts and I think it's pre-cut. Oh. Be, um, besties, be careful of things that are a mystery from big companies. Because mystery normally means shit I couldn't sell. And I'm going to be doing a mystery box at Christmas, but it won't be shit I can't sell. It'll be maybe slower moving stuff. Maybe stuff that I know I've over-ordered, stuff like that. It won't be stuff that I can't sell. Because if you don't want it in the first place, how on earth are you going to want it in a mystery box? Chat me. Are we excited for Christmas? I'm really excited to get like all of the Christmas stuff up. Like the advent calendar. Oh yeah, advent calendar will be July as well. That's another thing. <laughs> the advent calendar and then mystery boxes. And, oh, I love it. December was a really exciting, like October, November, December, really exciting month for me last year in my shop. You literally ran me ragged. I loved every second of it. I really enjoyed the overwhelmed, how overwhelmed excited I was. It was good. I love sewing very scrappy quilts. Cute. I'm doing my first stitch along. I'm so excited. Tarot cards, but only cups. They're probably going to do other suits, but cups are mine. Cute. I don't mind stuff that I can't, I don't mind stuff that can't sell, honestly. Sometimes it, it's just because it was too expensive. Yeah. It's a mystery. We get a new card to stitch every month. Oh, that's nice. Diamond Paint and Diva on wheels. Bestie. You don't know about the budget with Ira Advent Calendar. Okay, so this year will be the second annual budget with Ira Advent Calendar. And basically uh, it's a 12 day Advent Calendar that has loads of goodies in it. Um, some of the stuff is stuff that you can already see in my shop, but it's grouped together. Um, so like day one might be a cash envelope, day two might be a binder. Uh, it's got all sorts of stuff in it and what you're left with at the end is a complete complete budgeting set so i know in last year's advent calendar we had a binder we had a penny challenge and it was a beaut penny challenge it's the one that i do every day still uh we had like a dice challenge we had pens so we had key ring we had all sorts of stuff and there was loads of brilliant stuff uh, but this year we're going to be doing a 12 day and a deluxe 24 day calendar as well so yeah but they're going to go on pre-order in july so i know exactly how many i need to make uh, advent calendar so how cheap is the advent calendar gonna be um so i'm gonna do the 12 day one for 80 pounds um which i know seems like a lot of money but bestie it's gonna have hundreds of pounds worth of stuff in there uh and the deluxe one's gonna be something like 120 so you say 20 for the advent calendar nice
save all your money, Diva. All of it. You want it. <laughs> you can call your Mission Rocks craptastic items. Um, <laughs> nothing in my shop is craptastic. Uh, it will be, it will definitely be budget booklet. But other than that, it'll uh, it'll probably be new stuff. Like so, in the the one last year, you got um, a placeholder, or maybe two placeholders. You got stickers. You got a unique savings challenge, which you couldn't buy before, and you can't buy sin since. And I weeded so much hollow vinyl to make that happen as well. And I hate weeding hollow vinyl. Uh, yeah, and we yeah we only made a hundred as well. <laughs> The Avant Canada job was exquisite. Oh, I'm so glad you liked it. Uh, which savings challenge is your least popular? That's for an A6 binder. Andrea, um, least popular. Um, do you know what? I think the least popular one is the, the four-sided dice challenge, actually. I think that one is really, really slept on. I really do. I think it's a really, really good challenge and it, I think it is really slept on. Uh, you're getting both. Oh, how much do I need to budget? Depends how many you want. So, uh, and it depends where you are in the world. So, uh, it is, they're gonna be a kilogram each. So whatever the price is, add £15.5 on. No, £21 on if you are anywhere not in the UK. Yeah? So if it's an £80 calendar, you need to add on £21. So that'd be £101. So whatever that works out into dollars or whatever, that's how much it'll cost. But if that's not within your budget at that time, there will always be the mystery bags. And I, I'm i going to put, I think I'm going to do 50 deluxe, 150 like night, like normal ones. So I don't think they will sell out straight away in January. So I don't think there's going to be a massive rush on them, but um, you might want to secure it because I think it, I, th I think they will sell out. Secret Santa will be like twenty quid. Secret Santa will not be a lot of money. I'm sure I've uh, I sold something called Craptastic. I'd buy it. Maybe I will, Laura. <laughs> Secret Santa will probably be like twenty pounds. It's not. Um, so Secret Santa, I stuff as much into one of these. So one of these envelopes. Uh, I get glittery ones, and I stuff as much as I can into it while keeping it a hundred grams or lower. So as long as it's under a hundred grams. I'll put stuff in it. So uh, last year you had a budget booklet, a, a dice savings challenge. Um, what else did you have? You had two placeholders, you had stickers, you had thank you cards. You had, there, there was like lots of small, nice stuff. Does that make sense? If you go back on my shorts or go to my TikTok, there's, what, there's a video that showed you exactly what was in it. Yeah, four-sided dice. So this is the purple one. So this is the dice that you get with it. So this one you roll a one, two or three or four. So it's really low risk. It's also really good for kids as well. So if they get like a fiver pocket money or something, they're always gonna walk away with a pound. So you roll that. And you got the envelope. It comes in loads of different colours, but I think pink is sold out now. Um, and then you just write down what you've saved in there, just because it could be any money, any amount of money. If you rolled all fours, it would, it still wouldn't be a horrendous amount of money, but it's a good little thing to have on the side. And you'd be surprised about how much you can save up with that. So we've got red, orange, yellow, green, blue, pink, purple. I think there's mint. There's yeah, there's loads of colours. Here's the colours that I have left. So that's the red and that's the vinyl that sticks on it, but you can get it personalised. Got orange, yellow, green, 
I think the mint sold out. Blue. That's the mint. That's the last mint. And then there's purple. So pink and one mint left. So pink's gone, one mint left. And yeah, they're beauts. But that is all the stock once they are gone because this was supposed to be my 4k thank you thingy so once these are gone that's that's uh, that's them gone because we need to make way for the um thank you for 6k which is already designed i've already got half of it here therefore won't both never get anything to myself at christmas yeah it's a, it's a lovely treat to have Love to watch everybody opening the advent calendars last year, but I just can't afford to purchase. I'm at peace with it. Oh, Pam. So Secret Santa is basically a, um, it comes in a mailer like this and it's mystery. You won't know what it is and you have to open it on Christmas day um, to find out what you've got. So it costs like 20 quid and it is chopped full of as much things as I can possibly stick in here while keeping it under a certain weight. It'd be in a glittery bag so it'll feel like a gift as you get it, but you cannot open it until Christmas day. Not allowed, though those are the absolute rules. Dare I say, you have to uh, pay via PayPal. You can do PayPal in three. Not encourage anyone to do that, but it is an envelope is better. I think you can do clear pay on eBay, on Etsy. I wouldn't encourage you to do it. I'd rather you set up a sinking fund for it. Some of us are naughty and couldn't wait to open things. I was having a rough time of it though. So I opened a couple of my oven cards. You were forgiven for that shadow because you stopped at three. Do you have on your Etsy so we can buy one for one of my sisters? Not yet. So the advent calendars will be launched for pre-order in July and the advent calendars will be launched to buy in November. However, I will not be, be posting them, saving strikes until the 1st of December, just so that they, oh no, probably a little bit before it. Well, I'll have a way for America and a way for the UK because um, I'll send it. I just don't want you to open it because it is really tempting to have it at home. If you're talking about the 4K Dice Challenge, I can send you a link, but it's definitely on there. If you just search 4K, it, you'll see it. So about 220 for, for one, each of one there. I think I may change my birthday from October to July, so family. <laughs> uh, mystery, absolutely. It sounds fun. I'm a single mum and get no presents, so it will be a present for me. Haven't had a Christmas present in five years. Oh, so I meant the four-sided dash eyes. Don't... Oh yeah, so literally, if you go over to Etsy, search 4K, uh, you'll see it, bestie. Uh, question, does Buy Me Rebel absolutely rinse your feeds like Etsy? No, it doesn't. I think they take a little bit. They definitely take a little bit, but I, I, it's not very much at all, honestly. It, they're quite reasonable, which is why people use them. Anonymous, I'm the same, but going to get them this year, sending hugs. I've done the pay delay thing because I wasn't opening it yet anyway, and I knew I wouldn't allow myself to open anything until it's paid for, but I got paid off before I went started anyway. Q. <laughs> and yes, I did stop at three. I stayed on track everything after that. Good, good, good. Would love to have a secret Santa gift for myself uh, this Eid, but Eid is coming in two weeks. Yeah, I should really do something for Eid, honestly. But, um... I never have because I don't like track it I don't know when it's coming until it's like oh eat started and I'm like oh fuck now I can't drink water in front of my mates and I know I can I just don't like to I just don't think it's very fair if I was thirsty and someone was enjoying a glass of water I'd be bloody furious you can still do Christmas though right 
Anonymous, did you see Iris Budget is doing a savings challenge to buy herself something for her birthday because she's alone too? Love that. Yeah, exactly. You gotta get something for yourself. Like, put aside a little bit. Who opened theirs before? I can't remember. Well, Sarah definitely did. She opened the bloody lot. She opened it before December. I, she sent me all the videos, like, November 28th or something. Like, literally, she opened the bloody lot. I thought it was absolutely hilarious how she had, like, zero willpower. Uh, I haven't had we'll check out her. Iris, Iris Budgets, you'll love. Iris Budgets is one of my favourite budget YouTubers. I watch, like, all her videos. She uses the um, uh, Infinity Challenge as well. I think she does it every week. And she does Savings Challenge Volume 2 as well. She's doing Go Nuts at the moment. She said it wasn't very exciting. So I was like, cheers. <laughs> it's funny the things you pick up on. But yeah, definitely go and check her out. Um, yeah, it's just Iris Budget, I-R-I-S. <laughs> oh, did you, Kat? Oh, that's so good. It's funny how people find me. PS5 for Harry Potter. I would love a PS5 just to play Harry Potter, but I, you'd lose me for a month. You really would. You wouldn't see me for a month. I'd be like, didn't post a video because I'm playing Harry Potter. I'd literally just walk around and have Vada Kedavra in people. I'm sorry. Okay, these are done. gonna move these up to here so the issue this is where I keep all of my infinities here like this is that too much hmm Oh, was it? Is it... Like, I've seen people... I've watched people play it, and it's really good. Like, it's not the way I'd play it. I think I'd just be, like, a copy of Malfoy and just walk around murdering people. I'm going to take some of these out. You've completed it. Trying to keep the dice separate so that I can grab two of the right ones. I wouldn't want to send two of the same over, but I need to be able to grab everything. I think that is tidy enough. If I move this one here. Sorry, I'm no I know this is absolutely riveting for you all. How much ink do you go through a month? Um, <laughs> that's a big expense of the business, I'm being really honest. Oh, for fuck's sake. Shit. <laughs> I'm going to put that there. Why don't no one, none of you tell me? Um, it is a big expense, but I have the eco tank, so it's a lot more forgiving on ink. Didn't she struggle and curse the snooker challenge as well? <laughs> as I say, Myra, I'm collecting shiny beasts with my favourite pastime. 
I have an Xbox in a house, so I have to wait for it to come out on that. It took me a long time to realise her birthday binder was Harry Potter characters and not her family own. <laughs> you just had to order a takeaway, didn't you, Diamond Demon? <laughs> I'm honestly surprised you print so much. I thought they were made by a third party. No, I do it all here, bestie. That tuna sandwich soon changed, didn't it, Bestie? How long have we been live? 79 minutes, that's all right. I really don't want you to like see my face <laughs> like as much as you do, but I really have to make sure this cut line is accurate. Yeah, I print everything because everything's so custom. And also, uh, I think one day I will get stuff printed um, elsewhere, but the thing that I won't be able to replicate is the laminated envelopes. And I wouldn't be one of those shops that only sells, um, I think I've got a good dependable standard now. Like I feel like some, this is not slagging people off, right? You can watch, one person's video and they've got a cash envelope from a particular seller and then you can watch another person's and the quality of it just looks different like the bubbles in the vinyl and stuff uh, in the lamination that like you can see all of that stuff but i feel like with mine at least there's a dependable quality that you can rely on um so i feel like i got that bit down so like I know what I'd do if I ever needed to step up and like mass produce, well not mass produce, but like um, produce cash envelopes on a high frequency. I know what I would need to do, like I'm um, ready to press the button if I needed to. Um, Cause I feel like other shops that I've seen that have got really big, they just get rid of cash envelopes and then they just sell zippers. I love making cash envelopes. Maybe I don't like cutting up like this, this late at night, but I'm chatting with you besties and that's my favorite thing to do. Uh, oh, what's that seems amazing. I'm not in a rush to finish it though. Still find out Merlin's challenge. McDonald's. I uh, had to switch uh, to Ira on the TV, chat on the phone, kiddo work up for myself. Oh dear. <laughs> we love your face. I don't blame you, Bestie. <laughs> yeah, new design is lovely. It's doing really well. So these are the first wave of orders that I'm doing. So these are tomorrow's orders. So these are the because I, I never send out an order of the new design until I've shipped the Patreons. And I never said that that's what I was gonna do, but I feel like the Patreons, they support me like so much that I feel like they should always get first dibs. So, um, yeah, they get it first. So to, um, I posted off all the Patreon today. Um, so tomorrow I can start making orders for Etsy. I pet all the cats, cute. All the cats. I have two mini spending envelopes and love them. Uh, take uh, in my purse all the time. Your quality is the best. Oh, thank you, Elaine. That's really kind. Oh, Ira, I want some banter about me. Go for it, Emma, always. I definitely want the banter about you. What's going on? What are you done now? wearing my glasses sorry oh no it's all right that was a bit hard to read there babes
I thought my eye sight was going poo again. Uh, delayed getting an eye test because I thought I was being dramatic. Turns out I've been severely breaking the law. <gasps> no! Have you like been driving where you need driving glasses? You nightmare. That's like my one of my worst fears is um, getting hit by someone who like like somebody really old who shouldn't be on the road. Like if they haven't done it on purpose, so you can't really be angry with them. But what if you break your leg? For someone who should have got an eye test or somebody. I'm not trying to make you feel bad at all, but like, oh. Luckily my company paid for my glasses, nearly had a heart attack. <gasps> How much were they gonna be? 250, wow. Oh, that's good that your company did that for you. Was that um, uh, through like a, what's it called? Was that through like a health benefit with them or was it just part of discount or what? I'm guessing my eyesight is going short and long. <laughs> oh, okay, 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 okay. My eyesight has always been really good and I've always wanted glasses. Sometimes I need them, but like only if I've got a headache do I put on glasses. But like my normal eyesight is so, so, so good. I, when I was young, I used to fake eye tests so that I could get, <gasps> what was that? Oh shit. Oh, thank, oh my, oh my Christ me. I thought I fucked up. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it's a health benefit, so could drive to the post office and work with numbers all day. So benefits there. Oh, good, good, good. Is that where you work, post office? Oh, go besties, have an even. Oh, thank you for being here so much, friend. Why do people who don't wear glasses want them? I wear, I, I really wanted them. I think glasses look good on me, but by the time I have to wear them, I'm in so much agony that I don't care how I look. It's only if I'm having like a real bad migraine and they're like not even, they're barely glasses. I think they're like the weakest prescription you can get, but it's just for a bit of relief. But my normal eyesight is so good. Like, it's not 2020 or anything, because I'm an old person, but like, it probably used to be. Like, nothing's ever blurry or anything. What does the O and Z mean, Ira? L and Z, oh, L and Z. So, that's how I know. So, if you look, there's two different lines. The outside line is for a laminated envelope and the inside line is for a zipper and that's what the L and the Z are. So I um, know how thick to have it because if I do them wider, they won't fit in a laminated envelope, in a, in a zipper envelope. But the wider is how I like to have the, how wide I like to have the laminated envelopes. And this is a size I literally chose when I started my shop. I don't even know if the, my envelopes are the same size as everybody else's. Probably not. Is that really annoying if you like bought envelopes from different shops and they're all different widths? That would do my head in. No, I order underwriters and insurance probably, so you shouldn't be able to see before. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, glasses are so expensive. The doctors kept sending me for eye tests. Turned out I need brain surgery. I mean, <laughs> that has affected my eyesight for life now. Oh, geez, sorry about that. So, cash envelope wise, is there any of you who buy cash envelopes from lots of different shops? 
Um, are they all basically the same width or are they all different? So I don't think there's like a standard width or at least I haven't researched it, at least. <laughs> You're not having any others. <laughs> I broke my glasses yesterday. I fell asleep watching YouTube and broke them. Oh no. Oh, that's so kind. I'm not digging for a compliment. What I'm trying to find out is, does everybody have a different size or are they all basically the same size? Cause I didn't have, when I started my shop, I didn't have enough money to buy a cash envelope from anywhere to measure one, to see what the size is supposed to be. So I just, measured a 50 pound note oh no i googled the measurement of a 50 pound note and then i just added like five mil around the edge do you have cash envelopes from previous sellers and they were smaller oh really but if they're smaller would you fit a 50 pound note in them i, I feel like it's the height that's the issue right so so if you had a Saffiano and they're a bit too tall, you could just trim the edge off, couldn't you? Well, you just, you just get more for your money then, don't you? If mine are bigger. I have a condition called hypo... I know what phallus is. Uh, fl fluid on the brain and the tube that drains the fluid blocked but the doctors wouldn't listen to me till I came extremely out. Oh no, they don't do that, do they? They have to wait till you're really poorly. I bought some in the past. They were basically the size of currency, uh, but I, which I don't like. I like the size you make the best. Oh, that's good. Yes, they would be smaller, but I found yeah, I had to cut yours uh, a little to fit in my Saffiano pass. I think it's just the edges, isn't it? So maybe if... um you had like a corner punch or something, you could just nick the edge off, couldn't you? I don't use my Safi anymore, so problem solved. Well, there you go. I'm destroying the, the Filofax empire, one cash envelope at a time. The 50s are snug in width uh, and the height was a bit too low for my liking. Ah, I got ya. I didn't even consider that. Look, I'm like a year and a half into this business and I didn't even consider that we'd all have different sizes. Isn't that bizarre? Maybe I should buy a load and see what they're like. Oh, anonymous, that's awful. They are, they're really good in normal binders, aren't they? and having visual problems. RAF, <laughs> I lost my license. I love the video because you bought from other Etsy's. I think you should do a video from worst rated to best rated. That's really hard though, because Etsy, I think everybody just is really kind with their ratings. Like I haven't really seen, I haven't really seen any poorly rated budget shops. I think that'd be a real hard find to find like really badly rated ones.
I heard of doing the 100 Emirates Challenge before because I didn't want to deal with getting exact amounts of cash, but I realised, why can't I just do it exactly? Just do it in a Monzo pot or something. If, if any of you can find a really um, low rated budget shop on, on Etsy, please send the link my way because I would love to do a video like that. It'd be nice if I could do like a one star, two star, three star, four star and a five star. But I compare the difference. Obviously my shop would be the five star one <laughs> and obviously it would win. But yeah, if you on your travels around Etsy, do see like maybe even like like a one star rated product that has something to do with budgeting. I'd love to buy it and see it. I have seen some shocking cash envelopes though, but they they haven't been bought, <laughs> so <laughs> there's no reviews on it. But like you wouldn't buy it. Looking at it, definitely wouldn't. Hey Bessie, so excited for my most recent order. I went personalised to the max. I still forgot a category, Bestie. <laughs> Not going to name it, but I bought a budget product off an Etsy just before I found you. And oh my God, the quality is horrendous. The colour is awful and I paid 30 quid. Kaylee, please message me on Instagram. Please message me on Instagram. I want to know exactly who or what it is. And I want to see photos. I love this stuff. I get all the gossip when people buy shit stuff. It makes me really... <laughs> I don't know why it makes me so happy. Like, I'm not happy that you, like, wasted loads of money, but I just want to know who, what, why. I want to see it all. Uh, what is Monzo Pots? Ah, so you're probably not from the UK, but basically Monzo is a bank account in the UK. I think you can get it on the east coast of America as well. Uh, but it's a bank account where you can save up into little pots. There's others called, like, Starling or Hyperjar and stuff like that. But... Uh, if you are from the UK and you'd like a Monzo account, there is a link in the description of every single video. And if you sign up, you get a five round, so do I. Very good. The ratings on Etsy are funny though. I've seen reviews that are low, but not about the product. Interesting. Oh, so if you are looking at a product and it has a review underneath it for a different product, it just means that that particular product hasn't been reviewed yet because normally you would see reviews for only that product. I sent it you now, oh good, I can't wait. I won't share it with anybody. You just bought a mega dice pack. Oh, thank you. That's so good, thank you so much. I really hope you enjoy it. I can't wait to make it. Oh, where's my phone? Oh, my phone's filming this. I'm like, where is my phone? I really want to see. <laughs> Hi, Michelle. How's it going? Michelle, I didn't realise you were a channel member. Should I have known that? Thank you for being a channel member, Michelle. I appreciate that and I appreciate you. Yeah, I love hearing about horror stories of stuff that they bought off Etsy. And like, that's the thing, you can't be angry because you know it's handmade. You, you can't be angry at that. However, <laughs> should you be sending out stuff that's really, really bad? Like I've sent out stuff with mistakes in it. Like there was somebody who messaged me on Etsy the other day. There was like a tiny imperfect perfection with something and I saw that imperfection before I sent it out and I was like it does not affect the way it functions um you can still use it and it's not obvious but then they messaged me on Etsy and said oh can I have a replacement I was like I won't replace it right now but if you buy something else I'll just chuck another insert in and they just weren't happy about it they just seem to think that they should get absolute perfection from someone who's making everything by hand. Which I get, it's your money, you want it to be good. Um, but I'm not the one to be bullied into that. Uh, 
<laughs> share a link. <laughs> I don't think they wanted to share who it was. Uh, I'm in South Wales and Diamond towards Swansea. Wait, what is this? The, okay, these are zippers for tomorrow. These are cash envelopes for tomorrow. Hi, Jamie Lee, how's it going? Have you got your latest purchases yet? I know I've sent you stuff recently. Uh, getting something imperfect uh, from Hannah makes it unique, not imperfect. Yeah, especially, it's not like, um, it's like, I, like if there was like an issue with the print or something like that, I probably wouldn't send it, to be honest. But if it's almost unnoticeable and it in no way affects how the product's gonna be used, I'll send it out. Now, if someone's really upset with it, um, I'll tend to replace it on their next order, but I'm not double paying for postage. And like, I'm talking about like, so, like it's beyond rare that something won't go out perfect. But I think, you know, at the volume, like not, I, 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 it's not a way to brag it, but like my volume that I'm sending stuff out is almost too much for one person. So, but it's not at a stage where I'm charging enough to... That's the thing, my prices are quite low as well. Like, what do you expect? <laughs> I'm having a moan now. You just sent this to me. I'm excited to see it, Kaylee. Thank you for doing that. I'm excited to get May sticker. So gorgeous. I might buy the budget book too. Cute. The budget book. Oh, the budget book. Yeah. So budget book, there aren't too many left. I um, ordered a fewer, uh, a lesser amount just because they're becoming less popular. So don't, um, I think, I don't think they're being slept on, the uh, budget booklets. They're just not as popular as the stickers. So if you do want one, grab it while you can, because they're not going to be um, in high volumes like they used to be. I just don't want to be left with loads. Amazing, amazing. It looks like the design is 3D, like you could touch it. To me, it looks like it's um, like AI art. So I'm peeling off the windows. So hot, like with the laminated ones, they have a clear window. So I just put this in as an insert into all of them. So it's only on half of them because they're double wrapped in a laminating sheet. So one gets laminated and they go inside just so I don't have to cut it all out twice. Ira, would you rather we save up or place a high order or buying one or two things often? Uh, Bestie, I'm not gonna ever police how you want to buy things or how you want to support me. If you want to buy one or two things, you buy one or two things. If you want to do a big order, you do a big order. Um, honestly, whatever works for you, I am not going to complain about a sale no matter how it comes to me. So it is 100% up to you. There's, there's, there's no correct way to do it. But um, thank you for thinking of me like that, but it really doesn't matter. I watched an older video of yours, Ara, and we were talking about your dream having a sticker shop. I know. <laughs> I know. I want. I was wanting to do like planner stickers and budgeting stuff like that. I really wanted a sort of sticker shop, but I like that we have stickers. But like, I love selling binders and cash envelopes. That's like my favourite. I like that I'm selling tangible things that help you stay on track and not spend money. And I know you spend a little bit of money. I know it's the weirdest thing that we do. Like you spend a bit of money to, to not spend money, but it works, doesn't it? I could, I would buy everything in a shop. Oh, that's so cute, thank you. Yeah, there's no correct way to shop at my Etsy store. You do it however you want, honestly. I'm not gonna be cross at a sale, ever. Can you imagine if I was like, oh, fuck's sake. There's no way I could, I'd ever be cross at a sale. You do you, boo.
What am I doing? I need that over here. My dream is Ira selling stickers to you. <laughs> Sometimes I watch old videos um, just so I can see like how far I've come because it's really hard when you're in the middle of it. Because I feel like the tiniest YouTuber in the world and like not making hardly any money sometimes. And then I look at where I was a year ago. So the video I watched the other day was one where somebody bought a hundred mini cash envelopes off me and uh, I made them a hundred envelopes. And I think I charged them a hundred pounds for that. And there is no way I would do that for a hundred pounds today. Like, I think that was like a, a whole day job for me, but I was also like, the way I was making the envelopes was absolutely stupid as well. Like about 15 steps more than they needed to be. But yeah, it's just wild and how uncomfortable I was in front of the camera and how poor the editing was. Like, it's not amazing now, but it's like light years better. Uh, I've wondered that too, with the purchasing, especially overseas, but your response just melted now. Ah, oh, no, literally, shipping is worked into the price, Bestie. So it doesn't matter how you shop. It literally, I wouldn't ever want anybody to feel like they have to buy more. Like you don't have to do anything. If you want one thing, get one thing, Bestie. I'm not going to be out of pocket because of one sale. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to... If you only bought one thing, like, it's cute. Uh, how did the Split May video do with views? I watch everything, so it doesn't bother me having it in one video. The longer, the better. Um, um, in terms of how... It wasn't any extra views than it was. Like, I'm never worried about views, um, honestly. Um, views don't really bother me. So the views, splitting it into two video, were probably probably a bit more having two videos because there's two to watch. But like, um, not anything significant, like more than a thousand more views. It was um, the comments that were like, I much prefer it this way, which made me go, yeah, do you know what? But I am gonna do the, uh, the showcase video differently. So for the next collection, I will be talking in it, but it won't be, it'll be more voiceover than seeing my face. But I got cute ideas. I just added up my current savings uh, and about cried. I've never gotten close to 1K and about 1.1 across all my buckets. Oh, that is not because of me, Shadow. That is you doing that. I never did nothing. That is so good. Well done. Seriously. It's great. Thousand pounds. Thousand dollars. That'll get you an advent calendar, mate. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good, Shadow. I'm really, really pleased for you. Uh, will you be saying the May envelopes, a set of six, already made in A7? May, May, May. Yeah, it's already on there. Yeah, May is this. May. What is May? Yeah, May is this. Yeah, they're already, um, they're already on there as a six pack in A7 as well. Uh, thank you everyone. I'm so chuffed. The budget planner has been exactly what I needed. Exactly. Oh, good. I'm so glad that it's good. My car insurance is due in July and I've saved uh, the yearly ready for it. I've never in my life been able to do that. Oh, stop saying it was me. I did not save that money. That was you, besties. Oh, sorry. Yeah, no, that was that was 100% you. My McDonald's is here. Oh, enjoy diamonds, even painting their own wheels. I'm getting hungry again. I think I had dinner a bit too early. Let's 
getting a bit late. It's half past ten. I can't eat this though. I might have to have a packet of squares though. Do you have some snacks? I don't have, I fancy something savoury. I've got sweets here. I don't really want anything like that sugary, that close to when I'm about to brush my teeth. Uh, no, but you physically didn't do it, but you're inspiring moving. That's really kind to say, but um, yeah, I didn't do any of that. That, that was all you. Really enjoyed the Bestie Sunday video. Great way to think about things in our budget and how they can be changed. I mean, with that video, it was the first one. I think you could probably tell, I could definitely tell when I was editing how sort of out of my element I felt like I was. Because it was really different for me to talk about other people's money. Um, but I'll do four, see how they go. It seems to be really, really positive and people seem to really like them. So I'll do four of the next four Sundays and see how they go. Um, I'm hoping to make it a permanent thing because I think it's nice uh, to do. And I think, you know, I hope you'll forgive me for the thumbnails, but I think they need to be a bit clickbaity to try and get more people to come over and join the besties. They'll soon see what we're like after they subscribe and watch a couple more. So yeah, I've got a couple more up my sleeve. Um, so I'll probably film one tomorrow actually, ready for Sunday. But I still don't have an, uh, an idea of what I'm gonna do for Friday's video. What do you wanna see besties on Friday's video? Oh, did you anonymous? And that's good because you're already anonymous because that's your name. I just love how you name your equipment. <laughs> oh my God, you got, a, you got a, they're all besties. They're all part of the shop. Yeah, I've got to do clickbait first, some of those videos. It hurts me. <laughs> But we're in a period of growth. So we've got to do it. Yeah, Money Tally App. We only did one really, really, really recently. Yeah, I, I can't, I won't do sneak peeks because there's just so much coming out. I don't want to ruin anything. By the way, I'm filming like 18 different videos at the moment. Like I'm filming like how I do a new collection. I'm filming like the process of my website. Um, I'm filming all sorts. But I just don't know what to do this specific Friday. I just don't want it to be a throwaway, but I'm more likely to just not do a video at all if I can't think of anything good. I don't want to just give give you shit just for the sake of it. Do you know what I mean? I'd rather put nothing out, but it's just nothing's fallen within the schedule and I don't have enough time to do like a, a big video, if that makes sense. I know Keith has the best name. I know. I know you think that's correct. <laughs> sneak peek the plano about sick. I can't sneak peek that because it's not even close to designed. And also, if I was like, oh, it looks like this, it gives lots of people lots of time to replicate.
My biggest budget struggles are food spending and tracking my expenses. Maybe you could do a video about ways to stop the struggle. Oh, no, I'm not. I am the problem. <laughs> day in the life video is like vloggy, isn't it? So I've done a day in the life video. It's one of the shorts. MS Essentials versus Waitrose Essentials. Apparently it's as cheap as Tesco. Oh yeah. I've been shopping this week. I'm literally, you're giving me ideas and I'm giving you barriers. <laughs> did you, I must have missed it. I remember a condenser video, my bad. I did find out she had tally and used a sticker in the book. Yeah, it was like the front page. Uh, I've run through a budget plan on how to set it up with the stickers. Okay. Because you were checking with your savings goal. That's what I did literally like maybe three weeks ago, a check in with my savings goals. Top 20 items in my store. Oh, yeah, I could do. I could do, I like that actually. Yeah, do something like that, I reckon. Not sure how many new subs you have gotten, but maybe a reintroduction of yourself in your journey. Yeah, maybe. What about budgeting for a small business? I mean, I, I do not have the answers on that, honestly. I just spend what I have. I spend as much as I possibly can because I feel like it's all investment. But now I've got like bills, like an accountant and a website and stuff like subscriptions and stuff. I need to make sure I've got certain money all the time. Can you go through more of the behind the scenes of ordering things and scheduling? Um, yeah. I don't really schedule. <laughs> I've just been quite lucky, I'm like ahead of it. And Patreon tiers included, it was hard to find when I was looking to ask me questions. Uh, oh, okay, so there's always the Patreon, uh, see I've already done that, it's the Patreon tiers explained video. And maybe I could do a new video about the Patreon tiers explained, about really going into it. Maybe we could uh, use review pictures while going through the top products to bulk it up. Yeah, I mean, I could go through it all and yeah, I could do like my top 10, I guess, or top five. Products, go through each one. I like these ideas. You guys are good besties. Office tour, we already have. We already have that one. Bring that back, Postman Pat. <laughs> Recruit Jake for an update on his budget. Yeah, we could do. I actually have to do his budget with him. He got paid a couple days ago. I would feel if I was paid and didn't have a budget for that money, I would feel like an astronaut, like just floating through space, like with nothing, like nothing to tether me to anywhere, just absolutely terrified. I would absolutely hate it. And he seems calm, confident, cool and collected. I couldn't do that. I just couldn't do that. I couldn't survive without a budget. Like that's the glue that sort of holds my world together. A day in the life of Gracie and Simon, I would, it's basically gonna be, they go to sleep. <laughs> they just snooze all day. 
how to set up a binder and the envelope explain the difference between seeking funds long-term goals probably not many uk breakdown videos okay make jake his own giant space oh i could do him a new binder but i could do him like an a5 one couldn't i that's a bit more jake size friendly isn't it So I've got this A5 binder, and I could do them all zippers, couldn't I? Oh, by the way, talking of binders, if you want one, there's only one left in stock. Uh, A6 binders, there's literally one in stock. I'm waiting on like a shipment, but it might be another month. So if you actually want one, I've literally got one. What about going to the savings book to explain how to use it? Yeah. I feel like a lot of these videos I already have. I don't really want to go over stuff twice. I can't watch him write in normal lines. <laughs> design a cash envelope live and get input from the chat on what to add to the design. Oh, that's cute. Oh, I'm so glad you like it, Becky. Yeah, we could design something live. Also, can I tell you about something? So I was thinking about on the back of every cash envelope to have my logo really, really small and in the middle, just like a little stamp there, just so that you know it's from me. Uh, it obviously wouldn't be on the front. You wouldn't see it all the time, but I kind of want to have a bit of branding with the envelopes. Would that bother you? Or do you think it would be a nice addition? My hubby wants another cat, not sure about that, but uh, a cat called Colin would be called that. would be cool. How about Etsy shop tips? Like how to know about setting up an Etsy shop? Uh-huh. Yeah, I was thinking I was going to. I just need to be, like I've got a new logo in, in my head. I'm not 100 million percent sold on it yet. I think I just need to work with it a little bit. Make a patchwork envelope design. Everybody has a small patch to add on at their primary school patchwork tea towel. <laughs> You're not sure about it, Stephanie. I think it would just be like kind of out of the way, but I think it might, I don't know. Would it feel like we're adding prestige to it? Or am I distracting from the design? Because the thing is though, if you buy a cash envelope from most other shops, the, the back of it isn't even thought about. It's just white because they're buying the paper. <laughs> like this one. <laughs> but like, you know what I mean? Like you mostly get a white back. Like it's not normally designed all the way around. So that's why I feel like it wouldn't get in anybody's way, but the, for the people that care about it would look for it. I would like the 51020 on laminated envelope, not zipper. Everyone is something that you could do. Yeah, 51020, we've got in all four designs ready to go. They're there. All right, the 51020 on laminated envelope, not zipper envelope. Is that something you could, yeah, it's literally here, babes. Uh, designing some stickers, we all need more stickers. I've just done that. I've had a bunch of peeps ask about my Harry Potter envelopes, branding. Yeah, it would be cute, wouldn't it? Right, A is this one. That's B, that's C, that's D, that's E, that's F.
uh, we're doing a live um, packing orders on the 2nd of May. That's when the next one is. I'm only going to do one a month just because I don't want to create sort of hype and FOMO and all of that stuff. So, yeah, that's the next one. But feel free to order whenever you want, Bessie. There's no rush. Uh, may I ask what's the best budget booklet and saving teachers to get for someone with dyslexia that's easy to use and understanding? That's a really difficult question. Um, I don't, I honestly, I don't know, to be honest, um, because pe like someone having dyslexia might be different their needs might be totally different to the person next to them who that also has dyslexia, um, then they might just have completely different needs. So it's really hard to say. So what I would probably do is a lot of low risk purchases. So find lots of different options as cheap as you can to find out what works for them. So for instance, don't buy, for instance, don't buy a brand new budget booklet for a tenner. Get the older one, like the January one, for instance, because it's a fiver, because they're reduced, yeah? So try those. Try the paycheck bill tracker method. Try everything. Try different coloured overlays and stuff like that um, of a lot of different things. So they might be spreadsheet. They might be digital. They might want an, like an iPad thing. They might want a pen and paper. Just try a lot of different things and whatever works, then go for the nice version of that. But just try and do low risk, but lots of different trials is probably what I would do. But it's hard to do because dyslexia affects so many people so differently. Having stock makes life wonderful. So today, by myself, I packed like 40 orders and I only had to make for like three of them. Like it's just wonderful being able to do that. So nights like this where I can get really far ahead, like cutting all of those wild cards and those infinities is just a dream come true because like they're ready to go now. If someone ordered like 20 tomorrow, I wouldn't even sweat. I have a table full of puzzle pieces, all sorted out, and one cat who likes sitting on the table and flicking things off. How, what do I do? Um, euthanize your puzzle, because this is clearly your cat's house, and you're just, the puzzle's in its way. You need to stop enjoying things and allow your cat to sit wherever he wants. <laughs> I love that you're doing collections, so you don't, so you won't miss a month if you couldn't afford out of time. Exactly. I don't think there's anything left in the shop I don't have. Emma, do you have a pinball? Do you have the Christmas planner? Do you have the mini binder? Do you have the washi tape? <laughs> those are questions for you. Because those are like, they don't get sold very often, but Oh, do you have the bank-to-back, bank-to-bank bag? I get terrible FOMO, so at least wait the life as a calm down, so I'm spending too much on energy. Good idea. I didn't realise you have already listed those envelopes, so made a new order, but please, could you post it all together? I'll do my best. Sometimes I can't. It literally, I know people would rather have it all together, but like sometimes it's just easier for me to send them separately, but I'll, do, I'll see what I can do. Uh, I say to myself, let's just window shopping, then buy straight away. You're naughty. I want Etsy strike until the next exclusive envelopes. Hopefully I can stick to it. It's going to be a long time. That's like four weeks, Stephanie. Yeah, I don't fuck about kinks. Right, okay. I am going to go, bestie. So let me get this all set up so I can just say goodbye to you. Um, because we've been live for two hours now. Um, so it's about time to go, besties. Um, I'm a budgeting newbie, half hour since January, probably the last two months. On benefits currently, but starting a new job this month and may have the funds to start a challenge. Any suggestions? 
Um, what I would do is just be really intentional about what you want that challenge to do. Doing a challenge for the challenge's sake is probably not good because you won't stick to it. So what is that challenge going to be for? And then think about how much you want to save in that challenge and then finding a challenge to suit your needs rather than buying a challenge for the sake of it. Does that make sense? So like, I don't know, for instance, I know I needed to have 500 pounds in case one of my cats was poorly and had to go to the vets and like have an operation. Like, cause the insurance of the deductible was 500 pounds. So I got a 500 pound scratch off challenge because that suited the needs, but doing the 100 envelope challenge for that would be pointless, yeah? So finding out what you want to save for first and then finding something to fit you rather than just picking one at random for no reason. Uh, <laughs> Uh, that's cool. I just want to save on your postage. Bye. Good night. You need a coffee, do ya? Months in advance, uh, base challenge or emergency saving challenge. Yes, it'd be lovely if you hit the like button, besties. It's 47 likes. All right, bestie, I'm going to go. Thank you so, so, so much for being here with me to this evening. Um, uh, tomorrow, next time we go live will be Thursday. So... Um, uh, I don't know what we'll do. Probably the same again. Maybe we'll do a bit of laminating. Anyway, Nanai, thank you for being here with me and I will see you really, really soon. Thanks so much. Bye, bestie.